and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Delta Airlines CEO demands new federal no-fly list. In 2021, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, recorded nearly 6,000 cases of unruly and disruptive behavior by passengers, with over 70% related to COVID-19 protocols like masking. In 2022, there have already been 323 reported disruptive passengers. In a letter to U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland, Delta Airlines CEO Ed Bastian has demanded the creation of a new federal no-flight list that would ban all rowdy and aggressive passengers from commercial flights. U.S. airlines have seen a spike in disorderly flyers since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, with numerous videos going viral of air travelers getting into verbal and physical fights over mask mandates and other pandemic-related restrictions. In 2021, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, recorded nearly 6,000 cases of unruly and disruptive behavior by passengers, with over 70% related to COVID-19 protocols like masking. In 2022, there have already been 323 reported disruptive passengers. Delta CEO requested the U.S. government take steps that will help prevent future incidents and serve as a strong symbol of the consequences of not complying with crew member instructions on commercial aircraft. Bastian also pointed that the current federal no-fly list contains a subset for persons deemed by the U.S. government to be a threat to civil aviation. According to Delta CEO, 1,900 people have been placed on Delta Airlines' own no-fly list for refusing to comply with airline mandates, such as masking. More than 900 of those names have been given to the Transportation Security Administration TSA, for potential future penalties. In 2021, U.S. President Joe Biden ordered that the Justice Department deal with the rise in incidents aboard flights. In November, U.S. Ag Garland announced that the department would prioritize the prosecution of combative passengers, saying they present a threat to everyone aboard a flight. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group, or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.